Hello teachers, in this video we will be looking at the process which is responsible for all of our food that is photosynthesis. This lesson plan was made by Smita Kulkarni in collaboration with Science Activity Center at Aisar Pune. She has shared her experience with us which I will be conveying to you today. With the help of activities, we will explore the process of photosynthesis and understand the factors such as sunlight, carbon dioxide and water which play a role in this process. The lesson started with a well-known fact that unlike animals, plants take up carbon dioxide and give away oxygen. This is due to process of photosynthesis. It was confirmed by performing the following activity. For this, we need a beaker, some pond water, a hydrilla stem, a test tube and a funnel. Cover the plant with an inverted funnel and place a hydrilla stem in it. The level of water in the beaker must be higher than the immersed inverted funnel. Fill a test tube with the pond water and invert it on the funnel. Place this whole assembly in sunlight for an entire day. Can you notice bubbles of air floating upwards? The following day, notice the level of water in the test tube. Has it gone down? This means that more gas is accumulated in its place. The gas collected in the test tube is actually oxygen and not carbon dioxide. You can perform some test to know whether it's oxygen, the details for which are given in the text lesson plan. Since this activity performed over two days, please prepare in advance before actually conducting the lesson. The objective of the next very simple activity was to demonstrate that light is required for photosynthesis. Seeds of a fast growing plant like mustard or wheat were added to soil in an egg holder. It was covered with a box with an opening and placed in sunlight. After 3 to 4 days, the plants were growing towards the opening in the box. This behavior that plants grow towards sunlight is called phototrophism. Plants grow towards sunlight because they need it for photosynthesis. We found a video that explains how plants make starch in presence of sunlight. The link for the video is given in the text lesson plan. Many other concepts such as what is starch, how is iodine a good indicator of starch, why is the plant kept in dark before performing the experiment was discussed with the students in the classroom. Plants store energy in the form of starch. But what is starch? Starch is a complex carbohydrate made from carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Plants usually take up these elements from their surrounding in the form of carbon dioxide and water. How is this carbon dioxide converted into starch is demonstrated by an experiment. We found a video of this experiment which students usually perform in their practical sessions. What further discussion can be conducted based on this experiment as well as the link for this video is given in the text lesson plan. The next activity is to demonstrate that water is needed for photosynthesis. As water is essential for life, not just photosynthesis, the activity demonstrates how plants take up nutrients present in water. For this activity, we need a white flower in colored water. Observe the change in color of the flower after 24 hours. The plant has absorbed the coloring along with the water. Students were asked to write the equation of photosynthesis stating what factors act as input and what gets generated in this process. This was a very different approach towards learning photosynthesis as chemical reactions that take place during this process were also explored along with the biological phenomena. Other concepts such as reaction between starch and iodine and reaction between potassium hydroxide and carbon dioxide were also discussed with the students. The teacher mentioned that students really liked this new activity based approach towards learning concepts. They were really engaged and took active participation in classroom discussions. The link for the text lesson plan is shared in the description box. Please check it out and perform these activities on your own in the classroom. And share your feedback with us. Thank you for watching.